Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this November 20th. Here we go into the weekend before Thanksgiving. And we've had some nice weather. Sunshine yesterday, that was very nice. Temperatures uh, running a little bit above average. In fact, we got just a little bit warmer than we expected. 63 was the official temperature, the high temperature, at the Bowling Green Airport just a little bit uh, before 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. 58 is the average, so we were 5 degrees above average for the high. And then we were at 36 for a low. 37 is the average, just 1 degree below average. A year ago, we had a high of 54 and a low of 20 back in 2014. No rainfall past 24 hours, and uh, it looks like we're going to be rain-free again today. Lots of sunshine, high pressure in control. Looks like we're going to see another nice day, although it will be a few degrees cooler than yesterday. We're going to have a more easterly wind flow, and that will keep us, well, in the mid to upper 50s. But uh, we are looking at a chance of rain coming in for Saturday. And the chance of rain has actually been bumped up just a little bit. At first, it looked like it was not going to be that big of a deal. Now it appears it's not going to be an all-day thing. But um, if you're out and about tomorrow, there will be that chance of a shower. And the arrival of that uh, shower chance and the cold front coming through is going to be a little bit later now. Looks like it's going to be more into the afternoon uh, than it was uh, earlier. We were looking at maybe morning showers. So the forecast today, sunny, cooler. We're going to see a high of 57 with an east wind at 8. For tonight, becoming partly cloudy with the approach of that clipper system coming in, fast-moving front uh, with the clouds and a low of 38, so not as cold uh tonight as it is this morning in fact i should have started with this uh we're about 20 degrees colder this morning than we were yesterday morning i mean when you step out this morning everything is frosty so you may have to allow some time to warm up your vehicle maybe scrape a windshield uh, turn on the defrost It is that kind of a morning, 20 degrees, around 20 degrees colder this morning than we were yesterday morning. So I I should have started with that. I'm sorry, but there you go. Now I've let you know. Now tonight won't be quite as chilly, 38, the overnight low. And then here we go into Saturday, clouds on the increase Saturday morning, and then about midday into early afternoon, a chance of showers passing by. And we're going to see a high around 57, maybe close to 60, before the temperatures come plummeting downward after the passage of that cold front. And that will be late afternoon into the evening. And under a clear sky, we're going to get down to a bone-chilling 25 degrees on Saturday night, making it the coldest night of the fall season so far. So... As I mentioned yesterday, if you have not winterized, if you have not taken care of your car, if you've not unplugged or unhooked or unscrewed your hose pipes from your faucets and spigots, uh, if you have not winterized things that need winterizing, uh, you need to get that done today or early tomorrow because... uh, it, we're going to see a couple of nights here well below freezing. Sunday, um, we're not even going to make it maybe to 40 degrees for a high temperature. Maybe. Some of you will be in the upper 30s, despite sunshine being out on Sunday. Now, there is, I know there's been going around some, I have to deal with this every single winter or this time of the year, anyway. It happened again yesterday. Somebody found an old Facebook post showing snow. (laughs) 
as you can tell, I'm exasperated. Uh, it, it, it's from last year. I mean, it's got the right date, November, you know, like 19th, 20th, somewhere in there, 21st. But it's from last year. It's not this year. People, please check this stuff before you share it and post it everywhere and go, oh, my God, look what's coming. And Dude, look at the date. It says 2014. Oh, my gosh. It's just, And that's how stuff gets started. And Facebook is the worst. I wish that, you know, people would just pay a little bit closer attention before it. So, friends don't let friends share old posts unless it's something, you know, old weather post. Let's put it that way because <laughs> you can you can frighten a lot of people and get stuff stirred up. And then I get all the questions. Well, so-and-so in another part of the state says we're going to get two to three inches of snow uh, this week. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then sure enough, I get on Facebook and I see that somebody's taken something from a year ago and posting it and going, oh my gosh, look at this. And then people are telling me, hey, check the date. That's old. I'm like, golly. Wow. No matter, I mean, how gullible do you have to be? And no wonder we fall for so much junk. I wanted to say something else. But junk that's on social media. And we will just believe anything that's posted there and go, oh, my gosh. But please don't. If you see that stuff, nip it, as Barney Fife would say, nip it. Nip it in the bud as quickly as you can to help us out here because, uh, man, that stuff just gets out of hand. It's cre- and you can't bring it back in a lot of ways. So, yes, there could be a few flurries that fly around east of us, mainly along the I-75 corridor as that front passes Saturday evening into that part, the central and eastern parts of Kentucky, but it's not going to be any any big deal at all. Ground's still too warm. It's not going to stick. It's not going to be a big deal. All right, now, moving back to Sunday, sunny but cold, the coldest day so far this fall, a high of only 40, and then back down to 24 under a clear sky Sunday night. So two nights in a row, make it three. Okay. Monday, sunny and 48, but we're going to get down to 28 that night. So three nights in a row of below freezing temperatures, and that could freeze some stuff up. That's why I'm saying if you haven't winterized yet, do it now. Tuesday, as uh, a lot of folks will be traveling, uh, sunny and 55. We start to warm up. Next Wednesday, mostly sunny, the biggest travel day of the year. We'll see a high of 58, a southeast wind. And then next Thursday is Thanksgiving. We're looking at a mix of sun and clouds and much warmer, a high of 62. It looks like it's going to be a nice and mild Thanksgiving here in southern Kentucky. Uh, By Black Friday, though, it does look like a chance of rain moves in. So that's just to give you a heads up about that. Okay, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you, and don't share old weather posts. (laughs) Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Then later today, Join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7 FM, from 3 until 7.